In this video, what we're going to do is show you how we log telephone calls here at NYSEX when we get a support call. So I'm just going to walk through from creating a, uh, looking up a customer, logging a telephone call, creating a ticket for that particular customer to remind myself that I need to do something for them, and then hanging up the telephone call. So it's just a real quick video on how we would actually take a support call to kind of show what the flow is. So to get started, we're going to go over here to contacts. We're going to locate a contact and we're just going to select the customer that we had selected earlier that we created in an earlier video. Once we get the customer selected, we're immediately going to select new correspondence, log a call. This is a, let's just say that this is a support incoming call. I'll skip past the wizard. And I'm going to initially review my open topics to make sure that this call is not related to any of the open topics that I have. And we're just, we conclude, we're going to pretend that we concluded that it, it uh, does not have anything to do with it. So we're going to say um, problem with creating new invoice. And we'll say that we spoke with Brian and So we're going to start logging the details. Now, it's, at some point during the conversation, I need to review their tickets to make sure that they don't already have a ticket open for whatever he's calling me in for. So I can ask if, if he knows if they have a ticket, uh, perhaps he created a ticket, or we can come over here to view tickets and look at the tickets that they have on their plate. And right now there are none. So that kind of lets me very quickly see that, that there's not anything here. However, we may have a situation where another customer has had a similar problem. So we're going to come down here to my tickets and we're going to do a locate ticket. And from here, we can select the project that we want to work with. We can select, you know, whatever parameters we want to search for put in our keywords that we want to search for and hit the locate button to see if any other customers are having problems with this particular thing that he has. If they are, then we're just going to attach him to that particular ticket when we find it. That saves us having to create another ticket and it keeps the R&D level or the, the research side of things a little bit simpler because they're not researching the same thing for multiple people. Um, so right now we'll conclude that they did not have or we didn't find any tickets so we're going to actually create a ticket so we're going to select create a ticket we're going to tell it you know pick a project section in detail for that particular thing and this is all stuff that you would set up inside of your uh, application when you start using lizzie um, and we're going to link this telephone call to that particular ticket and the reason is because if the if this ends up getting escalated into the the pdm system and an engineer gets this thing at some point, we need for him to be able to very easily see all of the information that has been said about this particular problem because the ticket, the person that logged the ticket may have left out some valuable details that he needs that a call log actually contains. So it gives us the ability to very quickly link everything together and give us one focus point and have all of the information kind of fall into place around it. So we're going to go ahead and link it. We're going to tell it that I want to leave it assigned to me, but I could select to assign this to any other employee in the company as well. Maybe I don't know the answer, but one of the other uh, people in the, in the support department, they're expert at this particular problem. So I'm going to assign it for them to research further. And the, the one thing that you need to understand is all of these things that are going on, like logging something on someone else's calendar or scheduling a ticket for somebody or adding a note to a ticket that someone else is assigned to, Lizzie alerts them of all of these types of, of things that are going on. So it's not like you need to add an alert or add a note and then tell them, hey, I added a note to such and such ticket or I did, you know, I added a calendar event to your calendar. Lizzie's actually keeping track of all that stuff and keeping them up to date on, on her own. So it, it eliminates you having to do a lot of repeat stuff. So the other things that we have here are whether we want to submit this to the product manager. And when you do that, that actually is going to require you to have the PDM system because this ticket is going to move into that PDM department and there needs to be a product manager over there that's going to review it and either reject it or you know, push it on into the engineers. Now, we also have the ability to tag it as urgent. In this case, I'm just going to go in here and say problem uh, creating new invoice getting error so we'll just make something up there 
and we're going to go ahead and save it. So we've now created a ticket and it's on this customer's record. So the customer is for, he's been sent an email with all of the details of this particular ticket and it is on his record. But as you can imagine, I may talk to 50 or 60 customers a day. There's no way I'm going to remember which customers I created tickets for and in order for me to go back and research them and, and get them in a level where I'm either ready to give the customer the answer or ready to push it into the development department. So what we need to do at this point is we need a quick way for me to get to these tickets that I've logged and we do that here in the my tickets section. I'm just going to come in to view my tickets and I want to look at my log tickets. So this is going to show me a list of all the tickets that I need to be researching. So here I have an, an arrow that I can click that will give me a, the details of that ticket or we can select the ticket and actually look at all of the, the parameters that are here for me to work with. Now you can see that we can link contacts to the ticket. We can view the, cu the customers that are currently attached which by default opens here. We can attach files to this ticket once we have researched it and we're ready to submit it to the product manager, we have a button here to do that. If it's something that we completed, we took care of on our own, we can complete the ticket. We can add notes. We can send internal messages to other employees. We can view the telephone calls that are linked to it. We can edit the note and add additional information to it. So we've got quite, oh, and you also have the ability to start and stop your time. So Lizzie has if you've got the if you're using the entire system of Lizzie, it actually has a built-in payroll module as well and time clock. So in this situation, I have the ability to start and stop my time, which runs reports against how much time I was actually at work and how much time I actually logged to clients as I was going through the day. So there's a lot of things that, that kind of fall into play and, and give me additional information. Again, without the employee having to make any extra effort to go and do anything to, to keep track of all this stuff. They open the ticket, click a start button. When they're done with it, they hit the stop button and they're, they're finished. Um, all of the other back end stuff is just done automatically for you. So at this point, we are logging a telephone call. We've logged the ticket. I know I need to go back and do the research, but I'm ready to go on to the next customer. I told this customer I'm going to get back with them as soon as I can get around to researching their, their problem. So down here in our dashboard, Lizzie still knows that we're logging that telephone call. So I'm going to click the link to open it back up. I'm just going to add an additional note here, logged ticket and link to call just so that if anybody goes in and starts researching this problem, they can see that there's actually a ticket linked to that call and you know quickly know that they can go somewhere else to look at any other information that may be available for that particular problem. So at this point, I'm going to leave this topic resolved primarily because I've created a ticket and I'm going to track all of my, my further uh, conversations and stuff off of that ticket. So there's not really a reason for me to leave the topic open in this particular situation. So we're just going to leave this topic closed and we're just going to hang up and we'll skip through the, the wizard. So as you can see, it's a fairly quick process to look up the customer, log a call, put the detail in, create a ticket if you need to have a ticket, and then be able to, to look back at your sticky notes or your tickets that you need to be working on whenever you have a free some free time and not have to constantly write things down on paper and try to keep track of where everything is throughout the day.